these greens powders that a lot of people are consuming are incredibly high in lead. Take a look at my ex post. I have the graph there of the different green powder extracts and the ones that have the highest versus the lowest lead. And so if if essentially you're taking a green powder just because it's like your multivitamin, you're actually better off taking a multivitamin because what happens, there's a lot of heavy minerals in the soil. And so plants take these up. And it's one thing if you're just eating a salad, but these green powders are taking just kilograms and kilograms and kilograms of greens and they're they're concentrating them down, right? They're dehydrating them and concentrating them down. And you're just getting a really concentrated amount of these heavy metals in in some of these green powders, especially, you know, ones that are not NSF certified. So um, really something to be aware of if you're you're supplementing with a green powder. And if you just love green powders because you love them, that's fine. Just go to a third-party testing source like Consumer Lab and choose one that's that's legitimately like been tested and you can see what levels of contaminants like heavy metals are in those because lead is something to not mess around with. Obviously, we've talked a lot about it in the context of neurodevelopment. It's very harmful for the brain, particularly in developing, um, you know, babies and children as well. But it also, lead accumulates in our bodies and gets stored in our bones. And as we age, and our bone breaks down, or even when we become pregnant, bone bone remodeling happens, lead gets released into our system. And so it can have an effect like throughout the aging process as well or during pregnancy. And so you just you don't want to be con- continually exposed daily from your greens powder to, you know, two, mic- two milligrams or micrograms of, sorry, of lead. Um, it, it's just something that, that I think is important for people to consider.